Alright, so starting out we'll just delete this cube and we'll shift A, insert a mesh circle. And just looking at the top view, we're just going to press E and extrude it in. Instead of bringing it perfectly to the middle, we're going to stop and extrude it again. Then we can press M, merge it center, and that way we at least have loops around that we can form a continuity around the circle without a whole lot of rigmarole. But really in all honesty, we should grab this, bevel it, delete this, because it's just going to get in the way later, and we can always fill it in really easily. So. Just by grabbing this, we could just press Control plus a couple of times just to grow this out. And if we had the center point, it would actually grow out in a way that was undesired. So we'll press P, separate it. We'll just delete the outside, Alt-X. Under Mirror, we're going to choose Bisect and Modifier and just mirror it across the X, meaning that one side of it is now fake. However, we did that too soon. So let's go ahead and just Control a apply it, and put us back to where we were. And let's work on our operation so if we were to have this mirrored and try to turn this into circles it just wouldn't work out and also before we turn these into circles let's also double our loops up and then re-instantiate our center loop so that way we have a little bit of perimeter protection for what we're about to do so when it comes to circle there's two circles there's shift clicking which uses a new circle method and that's the one that we're experimenting with it doesn't react so well whenever you get all the way to the boundaries it gets a little bit weird and also it's capable of giving you strange counts on the edges but it is really unique in the way that it behaves with additional variants of itself so i'm just going to draw a box and middle mouse button to deselect that we'll press period set ourselves to individual origins scale this up deselect scale this up and we're ready to continue so let's just go ahead and reselect these areas we'll press i e We'll press I again to just inset each of these, just giving them a little bit of perimeter loop protection. And so now from here, since we're in edit mode, if we shift click mark, we can just go into select tool and I'm just gonna press J for join tool. And it didn't hit me until recently, but sometimes in your head, you can realize like, hey, the next 10 operations I'm about to be, do be doing are join. And as a result, it's just really nice to just join consecutively in an operation. So good job on that thing for existing. So we're just gonna select these points and this, merge it last, select these three, shift R to repeat the same operation, same thing here. We'll just delete these loops. Just a little bit of housekeeping. I'm kind of strange whenever it comes to loops. Sometimes it's unnecessary for me to be so overbearing with loops, but I can't stop myself. So let's Alt X and perform a bisect mod. So now it's been split over to the other side, but we dealt with all of our circle stuff in advance, so it's not a whole lot of rigmarole that we have to deal with. So from here, we can just choose to radial array it. And what I want to do is actually radial array it. You know, this is what's safe, and that's what we, we could do this and just call it a day, and it'd be a really easy tutorial, right? But instead, we are going to do something like this, where it's actually a little more troublesome. And this is actually more reminiscent of a coffee maker I was looking at recently. So I'm just gonna remove the displace because it was red, meaning it wasn't doing anything. And so from here, let's just grab this and delete it. Maybe not delete it, you know, that was drastic. Let's press period, set our pivot point to 3D cursor, meaning whenever we press R, we're rotating around a 3D cursor. And we're just going to press R. And you probably have seen me do this many times in a video where I just kind of relent on a circle a little bit just to get things to work, even in a case where the geometry just isn't cutting it. But it's either delete it and make the next one work or just make it work with what you have. But now we actually have this continuous shape and we can actually progress. So I'm just going to shift D, duplicate it, hide that because from here we're just going to control A and apply everything. And so just by grabbing everything and trying to use, um, let's see, select loops, select boundary loop, we see that our boundary loops is just this, meaning that everything inside is continuous. We can actually progress to the next level. However, before doing that, you know, just to be OCD with circles, we're just gonna right click, use loop tools and circle to get everything to be perfectly a circle. And we see that this is what it gives us. So kind of weird, but you know, we're just going to take it and not ask any questions. Also, let's take this moment to just control numpad plus to grow this and let's just shift H hide everything else. 
and I want to select everything to the middle points which are just not very even you know that's the byproduct of actually using loop tool circle in the function in the way that we did like right here we actually have all the control that we need except it still isn't absolutely perfect so you know we have to just uh, pick our poison but if we look at this we can see that this is a symmetrical shape let's undo re-symmetrize it just making sure that it is symmetrical and let's just try it again we are just going to circle which will give us this we'll re-symmetrize it maybe merge these at last let's try doing it again just being really OCD with the circle today it, it's quite unnecessary in all honesty but it is because we're going to be straightening this out so best foot forward also I have a thing about cutting corners I try to not cut corners in places where they're visible you know there's an the art in itself to cutting corners you know you want to cut corners when you're just at wit's end and just can't handle another day of dealing with it you know that's when you want to cut all the best corners but you know for the stuff that's focal and in people's face you, you want to just get it right so we're just giving us a couple of loops of reinforcement just to get this to work out i'm pretty sure that stutter was itunes being a jerk about something related to an update also let's take this time to give it a bisect mod just split it down the middle and put a mirror on it and i'm going to subdivide this loop so that way we can have a loop going here and we can make this connection happen and i know really weird but we also want to subdivide and just bring this over you know getting real theoretical with this but you just have to i'm really ocd whenever it comes to these flows and having them go the directions that i want them to however you know we've been looking at this in wireframe mode which isn't pretty either but I'm just thinking about should we fix this? Should we apply to mirror, edit mode, right click, um, circle, you know, we scale this out. And then from here, we perform our basic extrusions and then look at it with grid fill and just give it something that fills in symmetrically. Maybe not that one. We want to control roll over this one. And then from here, we split it to the other side and let's slap it with a level of subdivision and get out of wireframe mode and this is basically what our result is so far so whenever it comes to adding perimeter loops i always talk about how we can go inside of bevel and adjust our profile to be one but you could also just shift click and go under select tool and just press b to use the bevel that's built in which will always use a profile of one sometimes it won't work as good as the traditional bevel because of b-mesh differentials but other than that when it does work it is a work of art so if we press alt v we look at our wireframe we are dang near done however we want to just give this one extra loop to just try to straighten this area up because it was just looking a little wayward and it's really not necessary i mean i'm just that ocd i even care about the presentation of my loops Another thing is let us select these two shift S cursor to selected and I'm just going to grow a selection all the way out encompassing all of this set our pivot to 3d cursor and we're just going to scale it out according to set 3d cursor and if we look at this we see that we didn't mess up our surface because we were scaling out by the approximation of the points that were selected. But just like that, we have discussed the first circle case with holes in a radial fashion whenever it comes to coffee makers. Um, I could go through and begin modeling an entire coffee maker, but that would be quite time consuming. But with that, I will wrap up this particular section talking about holes.